Well, I thought today would end up being 10 miles. It looks like it's gonna be just over nine. But I did walk the dog this morning. So, <laughs> I can't quite call it a 10 mile day, but I'm close. So, thought about a lot today. Uh, I thought about this guy, he's down in Texas. Real big guy, he used to be a bodybuilder. Now he's a triathlon, extreme marathoner kind of guy. And uh, his uh, catchphrase or whatever is, embrace the, embrace the suck. And I was thinking about that. You know, my legs are killing me. Uh, but I feel better than I did on Monday when I walked this same route. And I'm hoping that the next time I do this, I'll feel better too. I'm not gonna kid you, this ain't easy. I don't like it, but I like this better than metformin, diabetes, and all the other problems that I got before. I like this better. I like being able to breathe. I like having money again. I'm not buying cigarettes and beer. So, uh, you know, it, a couple of years after quitting smoking, I'm telling you, I feel like I never smoked. I don't, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't have a lot of those smoking related problems anymore. Uh, if you're still smoking, I mean, I know you, everyone says you'll quit when you're ready and that's true. Nobody could have told me to quit, but yeah. anyway, it's getting hard to hold up this phone. I gotta get a selfie stick or something. Yeah, just like my other videos, uh, I'm learning and uh, I hope to be making good videos at some point, stuff that's interesting. Joe Robinette, he's like such a great guy. You automatically like him as soon as you turn on the video. I, I don't know that I have quite that kind of charisma, but I hope to be likable. I hope to be interesting find something that we can all talk about and learn uh, and uh, I don't know I guess I'm really looking forward to doing this uh, again I'm building up myself to be ready for the Dave Canterbury Pathfinder self-reliance path Pathfinder school uh, you can find, I, I'm gonna put links in my video so that you can go and look at it. Even if it's just, uh, you know, uh, a friend of mine said the other day that he's, uh, what was the word he used? Uh, in other words, he's bored. Ah, I can't think of the word he used, but maybe you and your wife uh, don't have that same excitement anymore. You don't have that, you know, you raised the kids or you've been together for so long. You're just kind of phoning it in now. Think about taking this class together. Learn how to make a fire with a bow drill. You know, learn how to sterilize your water so that you can drink it. And do something together like this that'll challenge you and push you. And I'll bet you, you two end up making love again like you did when you were, you know, <laughs> young and doing it three times a night, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be gross. I'm not trying to be embarrassing to anybody. I'm just saying, you know, find that excitement, that thrill. Do something out of the norm, out of the ordinary. And this class would be a great way to do it. Go out and, you know, <laughs> learn how to survive in the wild. And uh, it might change your life. I hope it's, I think it's gonna change mine. 
And from all the other videos of the guys that I've seen uh, that went through the class, they say it changed their life too. So anyway, until the next video, I will keep on walking.